This episode of Scam School brought to you by Brain Tonic. Welcome to the show that's like a tasty plate of nachos for the mind. Scam School, the only show dedicated to social engineering at the bar and on the street. I'm your host, Brian Brushwood, and by now you know we've done a lot of social engineering at the bars, and now it's time to do some on the street. And to that extent, we're launching a new set of very special episodes that don't involve beer for a change. They revolve around a good friend of mine, Dennis Rogers. I got to go down there a couple of weeks ago and spend some time with him. Let me tell you about Dennis. He's a former world champion arm wrestler, and he is strong freaky strong, crazy stop an airplane from taking off strong. And he goes around demonstrating these awesome feats of strength. And when he finds people are faking the stunts he does legitimately, he gets mad. So mad that he's agreed to share with us the secrets to becoming a fake Dennis Rogers. Dennis Rogers, professional strongman. Tell me what it is you do. I break chains, rip phone books, twist horseshoes, roll frying pans with my fingers, drive nails through boards with my hands, stop airplanes and Harleys from moving, have uh, big guys jump off ladders onto my stomach. Uh, normal things everybody does. Yeah, just the yeah, everyday yeah, kind yeah. of stuff. In 1998, I was named by the Association of Old Time Barbell and Strongman as being pound for pound, the world's strongest man for the feats I perform. That is amazing. Tell me a bit about why you agreed to expose these secrets, these, these tricks that the fakers <clears throat> are doing. Well, what happens is I, I'm watching TV occasionally, and I see people saying uh, that they're doing a particular feat and I can immediately spot that they're really not doing the feat uh, because of signs that I will reveal. So because you are the real uh, the real stuff, that's, that's right. what gives you the ability to spot the fakers. Oh, absolutely. Well, fantastic. Let's learn to, let's learn to scam. All right. And then we've got a deck of cards, plastic coated cards. You see they're very slick. Yes, they are. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait. oh, oh nice go. pressure fan. Mm -hmm. There you go. There and the whole object, go. obviously, is to keep them square and tear them, not do any kind of little fanning or anything. Because otherwise, so, you're just tearing the cards one at a time. Yeah, if you were fanning, you'd just go. Da, 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 da. Okay. okay. Is that something that cheaters do? Uh, they do it all the time. Good. All right. So, anyhow, you just take it. I like to hold it like this because there's no way you can fan it by just taking it. And, I mean, right home, you do it like, like it's that. nothing. That's well, I'm just I'm used to tearing things. It's not a big deal. You know, when when I rip a phone book, I grab it on the end and I squeeze it tight with both hands and I pull it. And, and rip so it's it. a totally flat grip. It's about like this, okay? Because you you know to have it flat, you can't make your hands go right. So I have it like this, right? And I basically pull back this way and rip it in half. I've seen people. Now this takes some skill, even though it's a trick. They'll take and they'll curl it under like this and rip a few pages at a time, but it still it takes practice, okay? And then um, one of the things I don't like, and I think it's a trick, is something called being where they'll take the book like this, put their thumbs in here, and if you notice, when I go like this, you see that pinch yeah. area? Yeah, yeah. Well, if you keep going, this will go da 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 So you rip down, and the only reason I say this, there's people that argue with me, uh, Oh, that's not really a trick, that's just a different technique. Right. Well, I took a 49-year-old, 110-pound woman and she ripped the book in half. Are you kidding me? So, you tell me. Let me tell you, there's people that have almost burnt their house down, true story, doing these total fakes. They will take and put it in the oven. Okay. And bake it. Just, they, what they would do with the cards or anything else to fake it. They will bake the paper so it is so brittle it will pull apart. Now, this is glue in here. Okay. Okay. And since it's hard, most of them that bake it will go from this side, although I have seen people go from this side. But they'll just get it where it's real brittle. They'll take it, and if you see, 
they'll turn it like this, push down, that will break. It, and so, it will split the book about that far as soon as it breaks. And it just cracks it down the spine and, they and it just falls apart. Yeah. Uh, and, that sounds like and, my speed. And, and some, I think that's, I think that's about right. <laughs> it's the same technique uh, for cards as well though, right? Yeah. If they just, any kind of paper thing, you bake it, it falls apart. Okay, well let's crush some thing. leaves then. That's right. Let's go ahead and bake, let's, let's cook the books. <laughs> Let's cook the books. Coming up on almost an hour at 400 degrees, and at this point, the cards are a delicious golden brown. It looks kind of like an old-fashioned, old-timey deck. And when you when you when you do this, it won't bend. And you see it breaks on there. That snaps. It makes it brittle to where it just breaks apart. Is it brittle here? No, it's not brittle. It, it's uh. Oh yes, it is. Here. Oh, yeah. No, 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 no. I am going to tear a deck of cards, ha, 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 and then I will tear the phone book because I am a cheater. So that's it. That's Chef Boy R. Brian. That's and, right. Uh, <laughs> it was a lot of fun, actually. What did we learn? We learned that about uh, 40 minutes at uh, 400 degrees Fahrenheit was right. enough to get the cards where they were pretty brittle. Do be very careful to watch them so they don't that's catch right. fire. We learned, we learned that. that it fills my house with smoke That's after right. 40 minutes. Yep. Phone books actually seem to go a lot faster. That one right. was only, what, 15, 20 minutes? Yeah, about 15 or 20 minutes. It was pretty brown. We had to take it out. Okay. Uh -oh. uh, well, I guess at this point, let's give it a try in yep. front of an audience. Let's do it. This is a nice, uh, fresh phone book, brand new phone book. And what I like to do is rip it in half totally with rip strength. Here we go. Dude, like it's that. like it's nothing. Right along it's <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Okay, you guys ready? Brian, the strong man. Let's give him a round of applause right now. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, man. The pressure's on thick. This is my attempt to uh, pull off a fake Dennis Rogers. Let's see if we can do it. Come on, you're going to do it. Oh, cool. oh, wait. Yep, you're getting them. Yeah. There ah. they go. They're going. They're yeah. going. Oh, yes. They're going. Come on! Come on! Yes! All right, there it is. All right. Yes! There that is. just happens! That's right. <laughs> All right. All right. Next, okay. bring it. Let's okay. go. Okay. The new strongman is going to do a phone book. Here we go. I love this. I have the most patronized strongman. Okay. All right. Here, get your position. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Good position. You ready? Ready? Good position. Oh! Oh, he's getting it. He's God. getting it. He's finishing it off. There it is. Yeah. Pull it out. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> yeah. There it is. All right. Dude. All right. That is a Here blast. You can't help but feel like 30 feet tall after doing something like that. I got to tell you, that is the most fun during a scam school segment I've ever had. It's Let's funny, hear it for it? Dennis Rogers, everyone. Yeah. That was fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I cannot say enough about how much fun that is. If you want to feel 20 foot tall, go ahead and cook yourself a set of playing cards and blow your friends away. We want to give a special thanks to Mr. Dennis Rogers for dropping in on this episode. Don't forget, if you want to actually develop phenomenal grip strength, make sure to check out his website. He's got instructional DVDs that are designed to give you phenomenal grip strength as well. And while you're out there developing your body, don't forget to develop your mind by visiting the website of our latest sponsor here at Scam School. Brain Tonic provides the world's first think drink with no processed sugars and no caffeine. Head on over to braintonic.com, that's T-O-N-I-Q.com. And when you buy your Brain Tonic, use the promotion code R3 and you'll receive 10% off your order. Now I want to see video of you guys pulling off this scam. I want to see you tearing up phone books, I want to see you tearing up decks of cards, blowing your friends' minds, and I want you to post those videos at revision3.com slash scam school on the message boards. If you have a scam you want to suggest or any questions about how this stuff works, why don't you write me directly at brian at revision3.com. Now next week we will be back at the bar, but in a few weeks we'll be back with Dennis Rogers for some more Strength School.